My obsessions used to drive my life. I was basically shackled to my fears. and I was feeling completely hopeless. It was like, if I don't do something about this, I would have killed myself. So that's when we went to Mount Sinai. I was diagnosed with OCD when I was 13. I held it together for seven years and then it just kind of all unraveled as I was graduating from college. Sarah presented to us with treatment-resistant obsessive compulsive disease. It affects about 1% of the population and you literally become a prisoner of your own mind. Everything revolved around contamination, things being dirty or germy. If I went out, I had to be worried about what I would have to touch or who I would see. People just think, just stop, just stop washing your hands and you can't just stop. What we offered her was deep brain stimulation. It's like a digital drug where we can place an electrode in a specific circuit in the brain, regulate the electricity in that circuit, and change the course of the disease. By stimulating that region, we interrupt the symptoms of OCD. What's unique about deep brain stimulation is you can target an area of the brain within a millimeter or two, and there's no medication that we have that can be that specific. Deep brain stimulation has the potential to essentially unlock the very essence of brain function. We are at the cusp of changing so many people's lives. It's given me hope. It's given me motivation to keep fighting. We are going to let Sarah be Sarah. I want to live.